Record. All right, here we go in three, two, one. This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium, small batch, roast to order, veteran owned coffee company. Located in Perrysburg, Ohio, they are a world class hand roasted micro batch coffee. Fresh roasted after you order. They have high quality coffee beans directly from places such as Colombia, Indonesia, Peru, Honduras, and Uganda. Coffees come in K cup, gift cards available, and free shipping over $50. Be sure to find all the flavors they have over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is ironbeancoffee.com, that is ironbeancoffee.com, where Iron Bean Coffee Company is America's local coffee roaster. Hey Kyle, do you ever trip over the finish line when you were running track? Or just when nope. you do ad reads? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's Austin it's Austin's uh it's Austin's uh fault here. He joined in late. Sure, sure. I saw him pop Austin. in I saw him pop in and sure. I got nervous. Yeah. Okay. Blame Austin. <laughs> it's Austin's fault. Uh, hey, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about some um recruiting here today, Jared. We are we are we are. I actually forgot we were recording for a second. <laughs> that's that's where my mind's at right now <laughs> all right let's let's go and j- jump right into it we've got barbecue back here you're all invited welcome to the sloop cast how are you doing today kyle I'm doing all right how are you doing today jared oh you know one podcast down second podcast to go let's do this we have a, we have a, we have a, uh, we have, we have some deep course. We have some deep core nerd shit happening right now. We're going to take a look all the way into the year 2024 to highlight, uh, some of Ohio state's biggest targets for the 2024 recruiting class Ooh, this last is... year or last week. Yeah. I, I do say all the way. It is. It's too. It's a long time. These the kids we are talking about are currently sophomores in high school. Sophomores in high school, and all of the major recruiting sites don't really have any rankings out right now. So this is just a we're taking darts right now and just (laughs) throwing them, seeing where they're going, see where they're going. (laughs) Throwing some darts here. All right. So yeah, it's um. Let's let's do this, Kyle. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at um, now. These aren't all dart throws. A lot of these players have been offered scholarships already. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it'll be too long before we get our first commitment out of the twenty twenty four class. In fact, I might I might give you a couple names. I might give okay. you a couple names who I think might be the first twenty twenty four commit. Okay. You- you got my attention. All right, that's right. We're listen. We we did, last week we did the twenty twenty through the twenty twenty three uh, mock recruiting class. We are not doing mm-hmm. that. No, we're, we're we're not that stupid. We're not that crazy. We're not we're not doing a mock recruiting class for twenty twenty four. Uh, we're just going to talk about some of the uh, some of the names, some of the names that were uh, currently on the uh, big board over at the WAC. And mock the class, you cowards. Listen, I'm going to give you, I tell you what, I'm going to give you three names. I'm going to give you three names. You're going to call me a coward, make it four. I'll think about it. I'm going to give you three <laughs> names. I may give you a fourth. Kyle, Kyle will give you the fourth. Kyle will give you the fourth. I will give you three <laughs> names that I think are solid members of this class. Solid members of this class. Right. Any one of the three, I think, could be the first to commit. And I'm not right, even going to make you wait it. for it. How about that? I'm not even going to make you wait for it. I'm going to start with those three names. All right, let's hear it. Jaden Davis, quarterback from South Carolina. 
He is currently Kyle. There's not a lot of, a lot of these kids aren't ranked yet. No, Will Smith is 2023. Will Smith is 2023. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Jaden Davis, quarterback, South Carolina. Um, incredibly athletic. According to the 20, uh, there's not a lot of recruiting rankings out on these guys yet. But in the very, 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 did I say South Carolina, North Carolina? In the very, yeah, very, Charlotte. very early recruiting rankings, currently ranked 1-1-1. One, one, one. Number one player in the country, number one quarterback in the country, number one player in the state of North Carolina. It's early yet, though. It's very, very early. But you look, you look at all. But the I think teams he's a solid. Are... I, I think I think Ohio State's already like in on him big. Um, one of the things I was, uh, you know, during the mock twenty twenty three class, I was kind of like, oh, um, I, this quarterback maybe that quarterback maybe. I'm not real sure. Um, here's the thing: Ohio State's quarterback recruiting for 2024 feels more clear and precise right now than the 2023 quarterback recruiting. And it's weird, but I, I honestly feel that way. Cause even if it's not Jaden Davis, um, I like Adrian Posey out of Florida. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, there's a quarterback out of Pickerington who I really, really like um, his name's Layden O'Connell. Um, La excuse me, Landon O'Connell. God, I really sloop cast that one up. Um, <laughs> I, there's a lot of really good quarterbacks that I think Ohio State has. Um, I'm really going to mess this name up too. Um, Dylan Rayoa. Rayoa? I'm not sure. Uh, I think, yeah, well, I know I messed it up. Oh, I, I know I messed that one up. Um, I, I think are all quarterbacks... <laughs> Austin says, I don't know what it is, but that wasn't it. Uh, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, I think those are all quarter, but Jaden Davis, I think, is the guy. Yeah, I think I think so too. I mean, I like I like Dylan as well, but I think I think Georgia's got the the early run on Dylan right now. It's going to be uphill battle for Ohio State if they want to have Dylan, but right now I do like to, I do like Ohio State's chances for Jaden Davis here, but I mean, you're competing with everybody. You're you're talking about the Georgias, the Alabamas, the Oregons, every, everybody, everybody here you're you're fighting against. I mean, when you when you go after the best quarterbacks in the country, that will always be the case, but yeah. All right. Who's ready for name number two? Name number two, solid member of this class, could be the next guy to commit. Could be the next, or the not the next, the first, the first guy to commit in this class. Okay. Jeremiah Smith, wide receiver from the state of Florida, uh, recently received a visit uh, from the man himself, Brian Hartline. Uh, has Ohio ties, despite that Florida, despite that Florida residence, uh, he's a kid with ties in the state of Ohio. His name is once again, Jeremiah Smith, um, goes to, uh, that, uh, Madonna prep high school down in Florida. Um, I, I think, and, and like, it's Brian Hartline, right? One of the best wide receivers in the class, uh, currently ranked 39th in the country. Uh, but again, super early will change. So don't take that too seriously, but it's Brian Hartline and it's a kid. It's a wide receiver from Florida with Ohio ties. I, I, I like, I like Ohio state's opportunity here. Hmm. All right. Who do you, who do you got for the third one then Jared? Name number three. Ben Roebuck, offensive tackle uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear offensive tackles. 
Yeah, he currently goes to St. Edwards up in Cleveland. Um, and he is, again, I want to point out, Kyle, I want to point something out here. Currently a sophomore in high school. All right? Everyone, currently a sophomore in high school. Think it out loud to yourself. Six seven three twenty. <laughs> Six a... seven three twenty at fifteen years old. That's a big boy right there. Oh my goodness! Uh, that that's a guy. That is a guy in state who you build a class around, right there. That is a guy who you build a class around. In fact, how how sure am I that you build a class around a guy like this? Ryan Day already made the trip up to Cleveland to see him. He, he saw a couple other guys while he was up in Cleveland, too, but more on that later. Kyle, yeah. you promised a fourth name. I did. You ready, Austin? You ready for this, Austin? I, I, I'm, I'm not co-signing whatever this is. I gave my three names. This is all Kyle. <laughs> I'm actually going to stay in the Cleveland area. I'm going to go with a popular school that Ohio State went after in the early 2000s. Oh, Jared. He went to Jared's fourth name. <laughs> Jared wants to. I, I, well, I tell you what, I know where Kyle, I already know where Kyle's going with this and I will co-sign it. How about that? Okay. I will co-sign right. this. I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to go with Glenville High School here. Bryce West, uh, defensive back, uh, 5'11", 176 pounds. Sophomore. Uh, I, I really, I really like this kid, and I, th I think he could be, maybe not one of the first ones, but I think he could be an early, um, early person to commit to Ohio State. If Ohio, I think if Ohio State. If, if Bryce West, and they, they, by the way, they slow play Ohio kids. That's just what Ohio State does. They don't hand out a lot of early scholarship offers to in-state kids. Um, ben Roebuck doesn't even have an offer yet. Um, Bryce West, I don't believe, has an offer yet. But I think once that offer comes in, I think, I think Bryce West commits to Ohio State. No. Yeah. Not Roblox. Roebuck. Roebuck, like Sears Roebuck. Oh God, no, you're all way too young to know what I mean, that means. I mean, everybody. I'm too with, young with, to know what that means. With Glen, with Glenville, can you can you name me four? Can you name me four players who came from that from that high school? What? From Glenville High How School? How dare you insult my intelligence? All right, five then. <laughs> Austin says I can't even name one. How about Teddy Ginn? How about Troy Smith? All right, just off the top of my head. All right, all right, Kyle. We we don't have time for shenanigans. We need we need to. There's keep another moving. quarterback there. He didn't come to play school. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Cardell Jones, I know. We don't have time. We don't, uh, you don't have. To, you didn't have time to play school. We don't have time to to play guessing games. <laughs> all right who, who, who what is a roebuck it's like some company that that sears merged with before they got bought out by kmart and everything caught on fire and died because they weren't ready for the 21st century <laughs> all right jared uh, name me one more person here before we head on to the break who who, who else you got on here that that has a good Kyle, that has, it has a good shot here i'm gonna give you two Oh, two. Wow. Overachiever well, here, guys. They're, they're a bit of a pair. It's kind of a one, one, uh, two for one deal here. A bit of a two for one deal. Deontay Armstrong and Devontae Armstrong. They're twin brothers. They both play offensive line. And they are teammates of Ben Roebuck. I want to. I want everyone to stop and wow. consider something for me, wow. real quick. Holy crap! I want. I want to. I want you to picture three sophomore offensive linemen. Three sophomore offensive linemen. Everyone, everyone, six seven three twenty, six seven two fifty five, 
66260. A high school, yes, I did tweet this earlier. I did, I, I tweeted that while I was doing research. <laughs> if you're asking yourself, Ky or Jared or Kyle, uh, did they win the state championship this year? Yes, sir, they did. There are Mac schools who do not have that sort of size along their offensive line. Three offensive linemen on that St. Edwards team. And I want to reiterate once again, they're sophomores, or they were sophomores. They'll be juniors this upcoming season. The com six six is the shortest among those three. Two fifty five is the lightest among those three. Sophomores now, I, I, in I, I, high school. There's an important question here, Jared. How tall is the quarterback? I don't know. He better be over five ten. <laughs> I mean, uh, Gangland says they aren't stopping at six five. Well, here's the thing, Gangland. <laughs> here's the thing, Gangland. The 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 one who is shorter. And by the way, I don't know if they're identical twins or not because the one the only pictures I could find online they're like wearing they're like grainy pictures and they're wearing hats. So I I couldn't tell you with a high level of certainty because they look similar, but like they're brothers, right? Um. I couldn't tell you with a high level of certainty if they're identical twins or not. Um, but one of them six five and the other one's six six. You'd think that maybe they would be they if they were identical, they'd turn out about the same. But who knows? There's a whole nature nurture thing to this. Uh but Kyle, uh, I think we're overdue for that ad break. Yes, sir. epigenetics. I, I I know how to pronounce that, but I only kinda know what it means. But Kyle, we need to hear from the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Let's talk about some of those flavored coffees. Let's talk about some of the flavored coffees. Um, let's see. There's the salted caramel mocha. Does that sound good? You know that sounds good. I, honestly, I think salted caramel might be like my favorite. I think it might be my favorite of the flavored coffee, just generally speaking, like brand agnostic. If I'm just walking in somewhere and they're like, oh, we got some flavored coffees. I'm like, oh, you got a salted caramel. All right, fine. That one. Like, I think that's my go to flavor, like my go to coffee flavor. Um, the salted caramel mocha from Iron Bean Coffee Company does not disappoint. It is tremendous. Um, Austin says the bananas foster. All right. There's the bananas foster. Uh, bananas foster um, flavored coffee. Uh Features hints of dark rum, bananas, brown sugar, and butter. Hell yeah. That, I mean, I'm not a huge banana person, but I'd drink that coffee. I would. I would drink that coffee. If you offered me that coffee, I would drink that coffee. Uh, one of... Oh, no, you can't get the mom's carrot cake. I was about to say, there's the mom's carrot cake, but it's sold out. Guys. Guys. Well, come on. You got you got to buy these coffees. If you want a coffee, you need to buy the coffee. They sell Bookmark out. It. Bookmark it. Save up. Uh, buy now, pay later. Somehow, I don't know if they offer that. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's the Buckeye coffee. Uh, that's right, the peanut butter chocolate Buckeye. O H. That, that's what it says in the descriptions. And if you didn't all immediately yell I O, I am revoking. Your fan card. I'm revoking your fan card. Yeah, I, I, I saw you, Austin. <laughs> so uh, all these flavors, so many more, including a cinnamon roll, a butter pecan, uh, a grog, a mint chocolate chip, an intense blueberry, a vanilla hazelnut, all these and more uh, can be found at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. You can't ban me from my own server, Gangland. I own the server. Now, you could probably ban Kyle. You might be able to ban Kyle, but you can't ban me. You, you, you might, I don't know. Can you give me a timeout? That's a good question. I don't know. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, I just ripped my own headphones out. Kyle, uh, why don't you go ahead and name a name since I, I ripped my headphones out and I need to gather myself. 
All right, let's see. I'm just looking through my list here, Jared. Uh... How about a wide receiver? Brian Hartline always seems to be a an early uh, an early commitment grabber. One of the best recruiters on the coaching staff. You got another wide receiver for us, Kyle? Um, looking at my list here, see if any of these are receivers. I don't. I don't think I do. Pick number six on the spreadsheet, there, buddy. Number six. So you have here from from Saint Thomas Aquinas, another <laughs> another another high school that Haas State uh, has picked from in the past here. Uh, Earl, Earl Colt, Earl Colt, who currently in the early 24 seven, um, has him as the 14th best receiver and 71st nationally here. All right, Kyle, this is my, maybe <clears throat> we're just going by pure name, name. This is like all name class, all name class, cash Cleveland. His name is Cash Cleveland. He's been, he's one of the people. Whispers, he isn't the best receiver on his team or in his own class at his school. We, 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 we may or, we may or may not get there. Listen, we're not, we're not talking about who's the best. We're talking about like relationships and stuff like that with Ohio State. There is a difference. Um, Cash Cleveland, Kyle. Cash Cleveland is his name. He's been on my spreadsheet. Uh, he was one of the very first players to be entered into the 2024 tab on this spreadsheet. Why? Because his name's Cash Cleveland. Also, uh, his brother is a walk-on, currently a walk-on on the team. Uh, he is from Rockwell, Texas. Uh, does that sound familiar to you? The high school of the, the town of Rockwell, Texas, Kyle? It does. It does? It does, but I can't. <laughs> I'll let you. I'm going to let you think about it then. I'm just going to let you think about it. Uh, name's Cash Cleveland. Uh, Ohio State has a real shot here. Ohio State has um, a good relationship with the high school at Rockwell, Texas. Uh, like I said, his brother is a walk-on currently on the team. Ohio State needs offensive linemen. They need offensive linemen, I think, something terribly. Uh, I think he's incredibly talented. Um, I think this is a tremendous pickup for Ohio State if they're able to do it. And I think it's a very possible, very likely pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, what about, let me let me go to the um, to a running back here, Jared. We'll go to a running back in. How about a kid out of IMG Academy, Stacy Hayes? Or excuse me, Stacy Gage. Uh, yeah, one of one of the most sought after. By, by the way, backs Austin in... got it. Check check the show notes. Austin Austin knows knows. That's where yes. JSN's from. Um, Gage is one of the most sought after running backs in this class here. Uh, I think this would be a home run hitter of Ohio State. Would be able to get would be able to get Gage in this recruiting class here. But I think that's the name. Ohio State fans should look out for. Uh, he's a high potential guy, Austin. He might pan out. <laughs> yeah, uh, another high school of course. A lot of a lot of teams. So, I mean, IMG's a scholarship factory. Um, Ohio State, um, among many other teams, have had a lot of success recruiting kids out of out of IMG. Um, I think they have a good early relationship there. Uh, one of the problems I think you run into with Ohio State recruiting a 2024 running back is that I think that they're probably in really good running on the 2023 side with, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm coughing a lot right now. Well, with Justice Hayes, who's maybe the best running back in the uh 2023 class so you pick up justice hayes in 2023 it gets really hard to pick up a top tier running back in the 2024 class um so that would make that that difficult if you're looking for maybe a safer bet 
2024 running back wise, uh, Jacorin Caffey. Uh, he's from Avon, which is a suburb that is uh, west of Cleveland. Uh, he's a possible pickup for Ohio State. Um, Kyle, we're entering minute 25 ish here. Um, I, got, I got one more name. I got one more name here, Jared. I, ha- I have a few more names, but please continue. I'm going to go with um, a favorite position in our uh, Sloop Cats here. I'm going to go with the tight end. I'm going to go with a tight end here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Landon Thomas out of Georgia. Currently, currently, and, and I'm not kidding you here, the 18th best recruit for the 2024 class today is, right. a, is a tight end out of, out of uh, Georgia here. Yeah. Um, Ohio state has a good early relationship with him. It's very early. Um, ah, so Austin said he's seen him play local high school. He's a monster. Six, yeah, four, two, ten. I, Six, four, it's, two, ten. This feels like a stupid thing to say about a kid who's currently, again, a sophomore in high school. Um, dude has NFL written all over him. And that, that that's a huge maybe ridiculous thing to say again about someone who's currently a sophomore in high school, but yeah. Um, Kyle, I want to, I want to, I want to point out some, let's, we talked a little bit last week about how Ohio state is not recruiting the state of Ohio very well right now. So I want to highlight some Ohio kids. All right. Shoot away. All right. So we already talked about Bryce West. We already talked about Devonte and Deontay Armstrong. Uh, we made a, a brief mention of Landon O'Connell, uh, the quarterback from Pickerington North. Uh, we talked a little bit about Jacorian Caffey, uh, Caffey uh, running back. He's out of Avon, Ohio, which again is, is outside of Cleveland. Um, here, here is an interesting name, Kyle. This is a very interesting name. Um, his name is... TJ, I want to say Engelman, I believe is how you mm-hmm. would pronounce this. Um, he uh, he plays at Princeton High School in Cincinnati. Currently, currently a uh, a quarterback. He played some quarterback uh, late in his sophomore season for Princeton. Uh, not not a quarterback at the next level. We'll just go ahead and say that not a quarterback at the next level. Um, yeah, exactly, Gangland. He he's an athlete. He's a pure athlete. So is he a running back? Is he a wide receiver? Does he play defense? Um a talented, super talented kid from the Cincinnati area. Um just not quite sure where you play him yet. He's 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 a little bit small right now, 5'8, 170. But once again, I'd like to reiterate that these are sophomores in high school, so he, he could still potentially grow. Yep. Austin says you play him on the football field, dummy. Well, fair enough. All right, another Ohio kid I'd like to highlight. Um, if you if you can't if you can't get the uh, highly sought after Georgia tight end, and that will be difficult. That'll be very difficult. Then you could look at Tavion Galloway uh, out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, If you're wondering if there is relationship, no, there is not. Um, He is a tight end. uh, 6'6", 215. They're making him big in the 2024 Ohio class. They do, yeah. They're making him big in this class. 6'6", 215. Um, Once again, from Chillicothe. Speaking of making him big here, uh, another guy to keep an eye out for. Also down in Cincinnati, too, here's a 6'4", 220 edge rusher, Elias Rudolph from uh, Taft Elias? High School. Elias? Elias. I believe is how you pronounce that name. Uh, yeah, uh, he's from Taft High School. <laughs> Thank you, Gangland. <laughs> Thank you, Gangland. Yes. G- Gangland says it's Ohio. We say things weird. Uh, excuse me. I, I don't know how you guys say stuff up there in Lima, Ohio. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, Taft High School in oh. Cincinnati. Uh, talented edge rusher. Uh, Ohio State already has a really nice relationship with him. Um, I I think definite possibility for Ohio State uh, pick up a uh, a, 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 a oh, he's six four already. Two twenty is a bit on the light side, but again, he's a sophomore in high school. You add some you add some meat to those bones, and I think you have a really good player. Uh, again. Right, right here in the uh, great state of Ohio. Yep. But Kyle, I really want to point out before we wrap this up, because I think we're about to wrap this up. I wonder, and like, it's sometimes it's hard to tell. I, I think I already feel very good saying Ben Roebuck, very talented player, uh, is going to get a scholarship offer, I think ends up being a Buckeye. I feel real good about that. I wonder, because it's not like I've broken down film or anything and we don't have good recruiting rankings and recruiting uh, numbers on these guys yet. I wonder how I wonder if the Armstrong twins up at St. Edwards are also like really good. I, I know when when Ryan Day went up to talk to to Ben Roebuck, he he sat he visited with the Armstrong twins as well. Are they just big? Because you can get away with just being, especially if you're, you know, six six, you can get away with at offensive linemen just being big in high school, right? Um, but the question is with these two, are they good? Good? Are they Ohio State good? Because just imagine, just imagine being able to like get a three for one deal in Cleveland from one high school, three offensive linemen, all enormous. I'm just saying like Ohio State's having some offensive line recruiting issues. Imagine just getting that three for one deal out of your own backyard. It'd be fun. Not to mention like twins, you get two twins. One of them plays guard. One of them plays tackle. There's a there's a level of communication and uh, familiarness there that uh, you just you you can't get. Yeah, exactly, Gangland. You have them play on the same side of the line. Exactly. You want to talk about communication issues? Not there. Not with the twins. I do have to ask one thing though. Mom, Miss Mrs. Armstrong, why'd you give your kids? Why'd, why'd you give your kids the same first name sans one letter? <laughs> I gotta ask. Is it Austin? Is that a common thing people do? Ah, uh, that, that is interesting. Um, I, I don't I don't know how they line up, Gangland. I don't know how they line up. Very interesting. Hannah Anna, Aldora, Caldora, Mari, Amari. You personally know all of those pairs. All right, Austin dropping some some twin some twin experience. Larry Perry. Austin dropping some twin knowledge down in the chat. This is this is why we like having a live chat, and this is like why we like having Austin around. <laughs> your your brother's name is Andrew, so it's Andrew and Austin, which is still, I mean, it's not one letter off, but <laughs> Austin and Sostin. All right, guys, this is <laughs> All right, Jared, I, th I think we need to end it yeah, here before we, we need to stop this before it turns into a uh, sleepcast only episode, which is where it's slipping. Um, if you if you want to join in Austin and Justin, Austin and Austin, Austin and Bustin. Well, I, I don't know why I said that one out loud. I shouldn't have said that Jared and Farad. That, that That's fair enough. Kyle and Lyle. I bet there's a Kyle and Lyle pair out there somewhere, Kyle. Jared and Karen. <laughs> I mean, it's right there. It's two letters, but they sound very similar. Yes. 
<laughs> if you want to hang out with these these uh the, these group of shenaniganizers uh with these rambunctious sloop cats then come join our discord server um come come get to know austin and gangland and buckeye zach uh and and all of these uh crazy dudes who we hang out with all the time in our discord server uh that's discord.thesloopcast.com slip sloop Mm. Patri- uh discord dot the sleep cast.com kyle i that's what i get for making fun of you for tripping over the finish line discord dot the sleep cast.com <laughs> discord dot the sleep cast.com uh kyle do you have anything in kyle's corner um i thought you're gonna go a little bit longer there uh <laughs> i was gonna pull up the that's what she Ohio said state bask- yeah uh-huh. uh, i was pulling up the Ohio state basketball schedule as they did not play this weekend against Nebraska. Nebraska uh, pulled out due to um, health issues. And COVID. yeah. And uh, I didn't want Teddy to yell at me. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> and, uh, if you so, want to get that joke, join the Discord server. <laughs> uh, so this week we have Ohio State heading on up to Minnesota this Thursday at 7 p.m. And then making their rounds back stopping at Purdue next Sunday at noon. So this Thursday, seven o'clock and Sunday at noon. There you go. Yeah. We are planning on doing a sloop hoops uh, for one of these two episodes that we just recorded, but uh, COVID had other plans. So uh, you guys got a 2024 preview instead. Don't, don't act like you're mad. All right, everyone, uh, that is it for today's episode. That is it for today's episode. Tonight's ending music, uh, we brought to you by a Columbus-based band called Cloud Kicker. Uh, this is a instrumental band. Um, you can, uh, if, you're, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can just, uh, you can stay right here. You, you don't have to do anything. You can just stay right where you're at. The song will play code language you coward i, I don't know what that means uh <laughs> it was in the audio version you you just have to do nothing just just hang around if you uh are listening to the podcast version of this there will be it's one of their songs oh so it is i'll play code language i'm terrible with song names austin um so yeah we're gonna play code language by cloud kicker that's what we're going to do. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Cloud Kicker. <laughs>